What's going on? Welcome back to the second episode of the Stick Drift Podcast. For all things car, car culture, car news, oh. racing, racing games, and motorsports and the like. Uh, you know what? I noticed uh, as, a, as a general thing uh, that there is a lot more car news through the week than I expected. Like, most of it's filler. <laughs> most of it is filler. It, it is just like, a lot of it is like, oh my god! Citroen announced their SUV is going to be reasonably priced. <laughs> it's going to no. get a one hundred pound price increase. Whoa. Yeah, but there's there's actually like a fair bit of news. But once once it boiled down to the main topics, it's not a crazy amount. But the first ever comment on the Stick Drift podcast, Optisfy, amazing video. Leave a comment I mean, on the podcast. Subscribe. I have to agree with them. I mean, a, a based is all I can say. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, uh, be read out next episode. Of course, all the main things. Subscribe to the Stick Drift channel. It's linked on the channel. It'll be linked in the description. It's where the video versions of these go up and the shorts and whatnot. And of course, subscribe to the podcast. Join with me, Sid, Sid Waj, and Josh. Uh, I mean, Oscari P's comment is better, in my opinion. But... Uh, J- Josh looking good, <laughs> blushing emoji. You I know mean, what? Can confirm. I would have to agree with that as well. It's yeah. Of course, based. get the uh, get this channel to 200 subscribers. Get the Stick Drift channel to 100. Um, fun thing about the Stick Drift channel, before I go into the, 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 the week's topics, the channel just got nuked the other day. It just oh. it, it just got nuked. Like, I, I remember I uploaded the video because the, the couple of videos that went up there was... Uh, it was obviously the Need for Speed one, the Cybertruck one, and the Electric Cars one. And when the Electric, the day the Electric Cars one went up, I completely forgot that it went up. I was laying in bed that night, and I was like, I, I'll check up on the video. Go to my uh, my YouTube studio, and I can't switch to the account. So I'm like, okay, maybe I've reached like an account limit. Forgot about it. Come back to it in, a, in an hour. I'm like, I'll look at how many views it has through the channel the channel link is gone all of it's gone i go to the video links from the dis- the, the discord happen, like how does i that... don't understand like i i checked everywhere and it was gone and then i the issue was i forgot what the email was <laughs> <laughs> well, i remember when you were making it you just had to something quite yeah odd, yeah so. i couldn't I, I completely forgot what the email was and then finally I, I had to get up out of bed. I went back on my um, setup, which I make a point not to do. I'm always like, once I'm off, I have to switch off. But I, I caved in. I got up. I got on the setup, logged in, found the email finally. It, but but the, the account was banned. And it wasn't even like, you did this bad. It was just like, we banned your account. You want it back? Yeah, log in. Sure. And then it was back. I don't... I've got a community guideline strike, which wasn't my <laughs> fault. But, like, I... It, it, mm. There's no way, like, unless you're, like, verified or have, like, a thousand subs, there's no way you can contact support. Yeah. So I just stuck with a community guideline strike until I'm not. Yeah. It's... I, like, I don't it's even certified understand. YouTube moment. It is. It truly is. Uh... Right, so, the topics of the week, rallying off the absolutely banger tweets from uh, the car news uh, accounts. Someone paid 5000 for this Ferrari race car bed at auction. Now that is crazy. I, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 2023 Dodge Challenger Black Ghost is another in the car's last call series. Uh, Dodge Challenger, it does look kind of nice. It's got like leopard uh, snake print roof. There's a new <laughs> Maserati Gran Turismo that was basically right after the last episode. I I saw you like, like that. It looks disgusting. It looks awful. <laughs> we'll get to that. Uh, state agency that this is this is a follow up on last episode, I guess. State agency that pulls cars from water objects to Cybertruck's boat claims. <laughs> <laughs> What a surprise. What? That's crazy. Uh, a student built a car that cleans air as it drives. It looks... I mean... It's It's got it like sponsorships on it. cleans air as it drives. Yeah, it, it looks interesting to say the least. Uh, there's a new Mini 
the Aceman, set to launch in 2024, the company's first EV crossover and delivers competition directly to Kia's doorstep. Uh, it looks like a mini, but it kind of honestly, I would say it looks it's kind of a odd. Mini. You could say it's a mini. It's, how is that a crossover? Like it's just it's just a big mini. It's... A crossover with what? Like yeah, there's there's big minis. There's it's like meant the... to be like a, a crossover. It's like a small SUV. Yeah, like a, like a Vauxhall Mocha is a crossover. That's just a mini. That's. I mean, is a the Clubman, Countryman a crossover then? Countryman, like... Countryman is the one with the yeah with the the. Doors that open like that in the back. Yeah, because to me, it, it it's just, just looks... A, an electric countryman. It's... Yeah, yeah. It, that's literally exactly what it looks like. It looks like an electric countryman. With a summit livery on it. Yeah. Uh, it's got the, the... In the image, it's got the livery that is the... What is to avoid curves being leaked, right? The entire uh, car is a curb. It's just... <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of the Maserati Gran Turismo, it ditches a V8 for V6 and electric power. Uh, we Another got an hybrid. early Mad. look. What's the what? Another hybrid. Mad. Exactly. Woo. We got an early look at Chevy's $105,000 electric truck. It looks fine. Like a, it's not it going It looks like a Rivian. Like, but, yeah. It doesn't but, look like it's going for the jagged look as much as a lot of electric stuff does. It's, I mean, it, it has to be a... Considering it's that big, it has to be aerodynamic to have any yeah. range. So, I mean, it's, it's, it looks like a brick. You say aerodynamic. It looks <laughs> like it's just a powering ram from the front. It's a smooth brick. Yeah, it really is. Oh, uh, It reminds me of the fact that all, like, software UIs are becoming round now, and it doesn't, I don't like it. It's a subconscious thing at this it's point. It's a cuboid with a trapezoid on top. It's just... <laughs> yeah. Wow, really imaginative. Um, something we will go on to talk about is Audi's doing a bunch of getting rid of cars. Uh, I just thought this was a funny thing. Uh, we didn't think we'd have to tell you this, but don't use rusty trailers as your rear wheels. <laughs> you know, that is I, good advice. I, I'm glad I know it now. Uh, again, uh, from last episode, there was the newer thing. The concept... Uh, yeah, the concept Hyundai that was the one before the cool Ionic new sticks. one. Yeah, that thing looks. It look. It looks alright. It looks. It's not. It's exactly meant to look the... like a streamliner kind of thing. Yeah. So it's very. A, a bulbous yeah. on the top. <laughs> yeah. It, it, like, yeah. It. Yeah. Uh, the Aventador, of course, is on its way out. But after that, the next Lamborghini. Now, I assume what is on screen right now for the video watchers is definitely a concept. If, if, yeah, <laughs> that, that, that is actually a GTA car. But like, the is, yeah. intended Aventador replacement uh, will feature a hybrid powertrain, which is set con to be considerably more potent than a pure V12, allegedly. Um, uh, the semi truck. Another the, hybrid. <laughs> another hybrid. The uh, Tesla semi truck is allegedly finally going into production <laughs> you know we can we can hope i know three years then <laughs> yeah uh, another one for the video watchers uh i loved this one because the caption was simply what are audi's designers thinking <laughs> when... what are they thinking <laughs> why is that uh, like a vision gran turismo car yeah um, and then like a limo with suicide doors, and I then like an <laughs> Audi A2, but no, I guess. I feel like electric car designers, they can't decide. Are they going for it's round either... or are they going for jagged? It's either take a normal car and just remove the grill. So yeah. The Give or it a this more, hyper like, modern, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, four thousand years in the future. Orbs as wheels, like it's, <laughs> it's so odd. <sighs> yeah. Uh, speaking of, uh, well, I don't know if it's. Uh, I assume it's not hybrid. I, I don't know the new Renault um, Five, which I think actually looks pretty cool. It looks cool. That looks like if a it's modern, smaller than the Ionic Five. Yeah, it like... will be a good. It's just a mm. good-looking hatch. That if looks it is that small. Exactly. Yeah, it's a good-looking. Renault interpret an electric interpretation of a Renault and it'd be like 50 grand mm. yeah. <laughs> um but of course ending on the new cars with the new car news is the Ferrari Roma prototype I sure thought it was an RX8 well I saw it an... <laughs> yeah. uh apparently is V12 just from what it sounds like it'll be a I hybrid hear. it'll be a hybrid yeah Play I mean now. it's but like the headlights and just the overall shape. Yeah. I thought it was an RX-8. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but yes, of course, there was some racing game news today that does make itself into the main show. And that was, of course, Need for Speed Unbound. The trailer has dropped. The cinematic trailer. It's a, There's gameplay elements in it. <laughs> there's three <laughs> seconds of gameplay. There's just someone <laughs> night drawing and then there's someone going off a jump. Yeah. Wow. But uh, the the trailer dropped, and it's, it's it's. I thought it was kind of hype. I mean, the issue that a lot of people, some people don't like the anime. You know, that's that's the thing is some people yeah. do not like the anime. Last one in see a gameplay trailer. I need to know if it's if it how how far have they lent into the anime style? Yeah, yeah. Because if it's like that, when they boost and the entire screen gets like a purple flash smoke effect yeah i can't imagine that's fun after like 400 hours of gameplay like, mm. yeah and i think but... the 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 point you made was that it, it's it's just like a need for speed 2015 thing where it's like it because it's of this it's gonna just be remembered as the anime need for speed no like yep. it has to be so good now like it needs to be so good to not just become the anime need for speed In people know four years if it's mid it's just the need for speed that had anime yeah like, just exactly like it's the need for speed that had live action it's exactly just... it, it depends how intrusive it is you know you didn't have like green screened iro people on your screen when you're driving in that one so you know that, that would have made it cooler <laughs> it would have made it a little bit cooler there was many many uh car uh cars in the actual trailer as well as they did release the whole car list which was only uh, 30 like, new cars though to the game yeah overheat, from which heat. considering it's what three years mm. it's not a lot and when you've got like the m2 the m2 competition and then another m2 four m3 m3 is a three yeah, yeah. it just <laughs> <laughs> there was like seven of entadors like it, it's just like four on the same porsche yeah just... yeah it's it's <sighs> <laughs> can you force do that when they've got such a small car list? Yeah, I mean, what I'm hoping that that means, what I what I'm hoping that actually means, is that they've started with a reasonably small car list. Customization seems like a big thing, so maybe that's only the licenses they could get that would allow them to customize. And, maybe and you reckon Ferrari, Lamb do stuff that's like the this. Thing. Their cars. Well, I'll get onto that as well. The, the the specific licenses that they got. But hopefully, what this means, the rather modest beginning uh, car list, is that it gets cars added as the game goes. Because that's the biggest thing with Forza. It's the biggest thing with the Crew Two. Is yeah. that they are known for the weekly content. Even with this podcast, the week, the the gaming segment at the end, like that, that is only able to happen because Forza always has something on theme every week. Crew Forza always has, has something a new on car theme. every week. The crew mm. has a new car average every two weeks. Yeah. Need for Speed had eight, had one. Yeah, so. exactly. It's it's they had <laughs> one update and then the game was um, abandoned. It's just this, just dropped. What I've heard if this is, game flops, they will do the same. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, what, what I've what I've read is though is that they do have plans for weekly content. So something is there, there's an online... They have plans if they're making money. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you know what, we, we we hope it does end up following through. I think it, the game's got potential, but it, it needs to master weekly content. I mean, unless it's trying to be one of those... Unless it's trying to be old school, where it's just a story, and then you finish, and then... Like a driver San Francisco. Brilliant game, yeah, but like yeah. you know, you can only play it so many times. Or well, you can only play it for so long. It has a good story. Yeah. I don't know. think this will have a good story. <laughs> well, you know. It won't be on the quality of San Francisco. No way. Yeah. No. I mean I wonder, would this even have a story? <laughs> it has to. You it... can't just have this as an open world racing game. Like it... <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, because it would be very, very limited. Like, what, Forza has the realistic element, the race creator... Forza is just like, an open-world car sandbox, yeah. but they have, like, 600 cars. It's like, whoa, yeah. you want any car? We probably have it. This is, like, if you want an M3, we've probably got it, but <laughs> for mm. sure, anything else, the, yeah, like, good luck. Like, with Heat, it just felt so desolate. Like, even playing it, like, current day, it just feels, was it feels desolate. was closer to the Crew 1 as, like... 
overall aesthetic and yeah. like a map like a smaller closed off map with very gray grainy like Whoa. yeah feel and I then mean, the crew two and fours are like colors exactly and i mean this one <laughs> it's like flip-flopping it's got the like it's got the anime but then it's very very underground street racing which does yeah, surprise me heat. But with, <laughs> but with anime, woo! Yeah, I, um, I need but... to see a gameplay trailer before I make <laughs> Exactly, we need a gameplay trailer. Uh, I mean, to be fair, one of the big things is that um, uh, it's very underground street racing, but how much of that has contributed to the lower, lowered car count? Because not only is there not names like Lexus, Toyota... The usual you wouldn't expect from not Forza or Gran Turismo. But names like Audi aren't on there when you, this time yeah, around. Yeah, when you think about it, there's like Audis in the crew and Forza. They don't really have a lot of customization, do they? Like, they're fairly yeah, like, held they're back. Yeah, very, very simple. It would make sense if they're like ultra hyper customizable cars that Audi would just, nah, not bothered. Yeah. Cause... And why are so many Ferraris in there? Exactly. That's like, the there's thing. no way they're going to let you customize a LaFerrari. There's yeah. no way. I mean, it's it's really basic. A lot of the licenses they've gotten are, are really basic. There's brands like like Lamborghini where they have like seven different Aventadors, five different Hurricanes, and three different Murcielagos. Uh, but then there's brands like Dodge where they really just went for the basics. They got the yeah. Challenger. They got the new Charger. And they got the old charger. Yeah. And a Viper. Yeah, I, like it just doesn't Again, hopefully that means they're gonna be adding stuff. They later. better have frequent car editions with a car list this small. Yeah. They better do a GTA and just drip feed it, otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm be like long term replayability. Yeah, yeah. I mean <laughs> have you seen what the Need for Speed Twitter account has been on recently? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're just doing the default brands, like, that kind of marketing now. It's, oh, it's, all, it's just... It always flip-flops. Every, everything, it flip-flops, you know. You go f way too far one end, it's going to launch all the way back the other end. And then I guarantee in, like, yeah. a little bit, they'll be all back normal brand stuff, you know. They're, they're hyping this up a lot. Yeah. Considering we haven't seen the gameplay trailer yet. Uh, but they've been, like, quote-tweeting people. They've been uh, just violating yep. people. They yeah. did, like, uh, be honest, how old are you to someone being, like, <laughs> game bad? Um, That's, the cruisers are doing that. that yeah. Means... Oh, words say less. <laughs> like, it's... it's, it's yeah. They've just yeah. been on a rampage of, of GIFs and quote tweeting and just so much back and the forth. The wallet intern is having a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean... <laughs> maybe it's helping i mean it is helping that that's the thing you gotta do now you need Ratio like because cringe is a fire there. <laughs> exactly they've done that like so many times i think now the the ratio stuff like i think that's that's what it is a tiktok's definitely i mean what on twitter it was it was wendy's uh, Wendy's yeah, bloody, everyone does it now nuts. but like yeah, Wendy, wendy's nuts uh wendy's was the original one to do it on twitter I want to say like Espanol like, does some yeah, wild stuff. I want to say Ryanair popular uh, popularized it on um, TikTok. Ryanair, then... yeah, the, when the TikTok pioneers. Yeah, um, and then it's sort of like, who's the car company that has that one outrageous one? Was it Lotus? I think it was no, Lotus. Lotus. Yeah, they were for a while. <laughs> They got into this side. <laughs> Lotus is better than McLaren, and then videos of McLaren's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like it, 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 Lois had an outrageous uh, brand manager for a little bit or whatever, <laughs> account manager, I guess. And yeah. it seems like the thing, and the, the Need for Speed account has been absolutely wilding, as they say. Yeah. It's, it's been it's been <laughs> crazy. It's probably it's, great promotion, yeah. but like... <laughs> it's all for promotion. They're not yeah. doing it because, oh, we're, we're friendly and fun. It's, they want to sell more games. Yeah, you know, it, it's... It's gonna flip flop back around. I guarantee within I don't know, maybe it's a, a week speed after thing. the release. <laughs> yeah. A week after the release. Yeah. Then it will become oh maybe like, just the crew thing where it's like, hey, this new thing. Hey, this new thing. Hey, Look, this gamer did this DLC. thing. Woo, you know. I mean, hey, who's who's to assume? We we don't know yet. The game comes out December second. <laughs> it is EA, so uh 
Uh, but the game comes out December 2nd. Um, there's a bunch of information, obviously. The map, the car list, all of that stuff that we did talk about. The but pre-order uh, bundle. Uh, yeah, there was a pre-order bundle as well. And you get a you get a balaclava. <laughs> the only good thing is the yeah. balaclava. It's... The rest of it is like <laughs> pencils, pens, and sticky notes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pointless. Which... <laughs> Yeah, you get like key power stickers. Like, yeah. what who cares? You get it's like twenty something, twenty something. Hello, my name is stickers. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. It's on the same <laughs> vibe as key power. Yeah, yeah, and you get markers. It's odd to say the least, but a, yeah, I yeah. yeah for a big collector's edition. But on to the topic of new cars. Because obviously there was the things such as, like I mentioned, uh, let me bring it on the screen. The th the thing that you've already slandered and said it's a said it's a an RX A. <laughs> no, it, like it actually is. Like the front bonnet and lights and bumper and is like the front quarter <laughs> yeah. is an RX A. Yeah. Like, um, the rear back's like Mercedes, like AMG GT sort of thing. Mm. But yeah. Uh, but we get that the. Um, the new uh, Ferrari, the, I think. Ferrari. I think it was a Ferrari. It will have three numbers and all that. So yeah, I... yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, the new Mini, which was uh, hybrid. Is it the first hybrid Mini? Fully electric, isn't it? Is oh. it fully electric? <laughs> EV. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I thought they had one already, but yeah. I mean, well, there I'm you go. I'm surprised they didn't. They're, yeah. they're BMW. I'd assume just BMW, BMW has fully electrics. Um, I would have assumed BMW would have used Mini as like a test platform for yeah, their electric yeah. cars. Minis are simple. They're they're like, yeah, you you could do anything with a Mini. You can get away with anything with a anyway, Mini. Anyway, like the average like forty three year old, I don't know, lower school goer who takes their children to school buys a Mini or a Range Rover. So. Yeah, you know, it's the simple thing to go with. Uh, there was obviously that uh, big Chevrolet. Uh, the Renault yeah. 5, how new is that? Is that, like, I've never seen I that think around. That's coming out, it's 2024. Yeah. When that comes out. It looks pretty it, cool. It better look like that, because that yeah. is, like, like, that is how to make a good, like, a retro Exactly, car. that looks like, like, that, it's that like works. like modern retro. Yeah, yeah. That, it, it does, the, it completes the full circle. It does the complete, like, modernizing of uh, a, a car style. It completely works. I, I could see that as a jumping off point. Yeah, it looks modern, yeah. etc. Uh, obviously, the cyber. The, what is it even called? The cyber the semi cyber truck. Cyber semi, yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. never going to exist. But that thing is apparently in production. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I feel like I remember seeing that. <laughs> Been waiting thing. on the roaster since 2015. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. Like... You know, it's uh, it's. Uh... <laughs> the cyber truck still is nowhere to be seen. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, as far as the EV Mini that just looks like a Countryman but electric, we'd have to see a non tarped over version of uh, of the Mini I, first. I guarantee it's just an electric Countryman. I yeah. <laughs> they've just saved a lot of money being like, we've got this body and frame. Mm. <laughs> I, th th there's such a difference between the electric, m this semi truck. Uh, semi the US. Uh, electric market yeah <laughs> exactly yeah. yeah like it's it's <laughs> like the us what do they have they have the lightning and then they're gonna have that yeah like too... there's too much empty space it at the makes front. no like... sense to have a big electric vehicle the yeah. point of electric vehicle is it's efficient mm. that is an... <laughs> i guarantee you three point something tons of a, Especially... a brick that weighs three tons is yeah. not it's, yeah Especially with what we were on about last episode, where they don't have a unified electric yeah, charging yeah, thing. Yeah, I can't believe. So that you'd have to go to a specific, like electric charging port yeah. to actually get your specific yeah. brand's yeah. version of it. Like that, that yeah. is torturous. That's, that's painful. You'd have to yeah. either be lucky to own, a, unless you're like Tesla. They're the only ones that's like everywhere. I swear. And then it's like the rest of them. <laughs> but yeah, I the US just. It's what do they do? Oh, like, yeah. They come out with this, yeah. And the, a brick on a wheel is that it's like eco friendly when it's probably a ton of lithium ion batteries and then two tons of steel, which yeah, sure, I guess really eco friendly. Mm. And then none of the charges match. Like, <laughs> uh, <what? laughs> 
with new cars is also, uh, I don't know, I thought I'd chuck this in. This was going to be in the opening listing off segment, but uh, I just thought this was interesting, so I pinned it. Uh, the Nissan Qashqai was the UK's best-selling car in September. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> it looks so... I, yeah, it was, it was the Fiesta for like seven years straight. Yeah, I mean, can I we think... bring the Fiesta back? Like, <laughs> it says, um, <laughs> uh, but was it able to knock the Vauxhall Corsa of the top spot for yearly sales? The Corsa, yeah, the Corsa overtook the Fiesta for yearly sales last year, and I think mm -hmm. it's going to win this year. Yeah, but the Americanization of Europe is just coming with stuff like this. Yeah, big SUVs and pickups. And <sighs> I mean, people. I, I, I did say, I did say at the beginning of, uh, of uh, before the episode that I didn't want to, I didn't want to bring up the whole SUV topic just yet, because it could truly fill a whole episode. I could but, talk uh... <laughs> forever about SUVs. <laughs> but, uh, I, I was like, yeah, you know, save it for a week that there isn't much going on. But, like, there is a need for SUVs, I guess. Really? Like, I... Have you been inside an SUV? <laughs> I, I think the I think so. Peugeot three thousand eight mm. is no bigger inside than a Peugeot like five hundred eight estate. Yeah, but it's so much higher off the ground. You have worse visibility, <laughs> and it's less practical because <laughs> it's higher up. No one is taking that off road. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, just buy an estate. Buy. <laughs> what? I guess it's got the like family. You get more feel? seats in the estate. <laughs> yeah. They, like it's pointless. It's pointless. I think it really is the fact that they just they they feel like the family car now. You know, you wouldn't yeah, get like an Audi yeah. estate as the family car. You'd have to get like an Audi SUV as the family car. Which yeah, like... yeah. And I mean, the sales are climbing clearly for them. So <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, indeed. Very unfortunately. <laughs> just look at it. Like just just scrap it. <laughs> No one buys those, unironically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you were going to bring up that with the uh, the Renault 4 on the topic of SUV. Oh, my God. Uh, right. I haven't seen the Renault 4, but... Uh, it was in the chat. You'll probably be able to find it. It's... Keep it more towards just the Renault 4. We, we, can, we can spare SUVs for another day. <laughs> Why is the 5... A small, small, it's probably going to be like three meters long, that's not ridiculous. It's a small hatchback, but then the four is that. It's a, like an off-road SUV type thing. It really is. It's 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 straight up an SUV. I'm getting a it, side it view has, of it. Like, yeah. It's, it's, it has a very Citroen C3 profile. Like yeah. That. I'd assume they've borrowed some parts. The front it's... looks oh, It looks awkward, the, the front compared to the... Um... Compared yeah. to the side, like it, the the front looks too. The front looks very Honda-y. Yeah. It's very. Ooh. Like, why has it got semicolons to the left and right of it? Brackets <laughs> to the left and right of each headlight. Yeah. <laughs> it's an odd design. I mean, what, what is it? EV? It's probably EV, right? It's very, very concept. Look at the wing mirrors. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it won't look like that when it gets made. I hope. <laughs> that has is it got disgusting. the roof rack built in or? yeah that would be like an optional extra for like probably five grand or something yeah i mean i can't even but tell just, what's going on with it with a, of a it, half of it, it is a citroen c3 from the side like, it is. <laughs> yeah it's just why what is nobody no one is going to buy that no one's gonna pay <laughs> 60 grand for a red o suv i don't know i feel i feel like Again, it's like SUVs are selling. It's 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 insane, but like <laughs> that isn't gonna sell. <laughs> People buy the cash guy and the mocker because they're like twenty three grand. That won't be twenty three grand. Yeah, that'll be fifty minimum. <laughs> yeah. Like, why not? I get anything else. I know walk walking's better. Hmm. Uh, but with other new cars is the one that i i don't think this no. is a bad looking car no. i think it is a very good looking car uh let me find an image of it because i will defend this thing it works it i don't know if it's electric is it electric works uh, uh I hope so. is it what like hybrid maybe it, i mean i'd hope it works, i think yeah. it's hybrid yeah yeah it's the v6 hybrid the, the new VR. maserati gran turismo it's just the old Gran Turismo, what? but 
same price as a Taken newer. Turbo, by the way. Is it actually? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know about the pricing. I, 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 don't, I don't talk about the pricing. <laughs> like, but looks-wise, I think it is a good-looking car. It's the old Gran Turismo, really? but... I may, maybe but, I just like the uh, the, the Gran Turismo because it's it's the yeah. old Gran Turismo. <laughs> yeah, I think you might be like a, a sleeper yeah. fan, like you just didn't know you liked it. But newer looking, it's the yeah, it's the old Gran Turismo, but newer looking. I like like it's the got massive stuff. wheels on it. I mean, you know what they look just like normal wheels to me. I don't <laughs> I don't normally look at the wheels like it's got like hmm. ultra 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 low profile tires on that. Yeah, but I think it is a cool looking car. I mean, what what is there just... about it? Uh, stylish just, Italian coupe yeah. ditched V8 in favor of a V6 petrol or 745 BHP EV drivetrains. So oh, you... so you can get it in electric or... Oh! Or is it hybrid or is it just... How many V3? cars can you do that with? Get it with one or the other? <laughs> I'd assume it's not going to be great. <laughs> yeah. If it's just a... Uh, oh. Yeah, well, yeah. How, how do you? How would that even work? Because don't they take up different? I'd assume it would have of... all the mounting for the batteries on the frame underneath as st on the standard one. Yeah. But I, would they make two separate frames? Yeah, exactly. Because that's the thing. Because you need different types of rooms. Because they're not going to sell more than like two thousand of them in total. I yeah. imagine it's Maserati. Yeah. But I. But they. They better for the price for how much it costs. They better. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's an interesting. I can see it. It's it's a car. I would be like, oh no way, if it was out in public, you know. <laughs> Which <laughs> it's I mean... just a worse turbo S. Like if you got that <laughs> yeah. in electric, it's just a worse type. But of uh, speaking of, I guess right, one car the <laughs> it gets a lot of slander from you. Uh, but one car. This should be any of... car, by the way. I'd like to... <laughs> yeah, but speaking of cars that I've seen out in public that I would ogle at, right. The other day, when I was cycling back from college, right, uh, it was only there, I go the same route there, I go the same route back, it was only there on the back route, and when I was heading back, I saw, parked up, right up to the pathway I cycle on, was a Lamborghini Urus. And in that very moment, I think that is the first Urus I have ever seen in person. In that very moment, I cycled past it, and I was like... Oh. It's almost as okay. if, right? It's based on an Audi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, it's an Audi with a skin that had like a tune. It's, yeah. It's just... And I, I really have my statement on it. And that is, it is so unhype for a Lamborghini. Grand as well. Exactly, like, yeah. For a Lamborghini, it is so unhype, right? Like, like it just doesn't... Any other SUV, sure, you know, I'm not going to go to any SUV and be like, oh my god, The whoa. Ferrari SUV isn't much better. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to be like, whoa, oh my god, crazy, an SUV. But it's the fact it's a Lamborghini, yet is so yeah. just there. Yeah. It, the thing it's, is, it's AI traffic. Like, <laughs> If I had seen literally any other model of Lamborghini parked in that exact same spot, any other model. The Gallardo uh, is exactly. more interesting. Any older model, any newer model, any mid 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 period model, right? Like the older Gallardo, I guess. I would have been like, whoa, no way. A Lamborghini. <laughs> and at least ah, taken an like image to Exactly. And like at least taken an image to send to the Discord. Right. Like it's, it it's, just the Eurus is just there's no need. <laughs> you, you buy a Lamborghini because it's quick and it handles well. Mm. The Euros is just, it's just bad. I kind <laughs> of understand it if you're someone who's really high profile and you want and, and you want an SUV. That specific type of person is high profile and for some reason wants SUV. Right? I don't know. Maybe you have a really big dog and you yeah. need an SUV and you're also filthy rich. Then I could understand. Why not get the Rolls Royce SUV? <laughs> There's a Rolls Royce SUV. Yeah, everyone has one now. Lotus, Rolls Royce, Ferrari. All I mean, yeah, both. I guess everyone has an SUV now. But, uh... Lamborghini sold well, so everyone's got to jump on the yeah. bandwagon. Oh, newer Rolls Royces look kind of nice. I can't lie. I'm not... <laughs> I said Rolls Royce, and like the newer one looks kind of, kind of no, you nice. You got the Porsche Cayenne, which isn't that. It is high end. It's like hundred something grand. Yeah. But then you got like the Porsche Cayenne, the Bentley. Word. And then yeah. 
You've got the Rolls Royces. I mean, it's SUV got one. its own style, right? I guess that's more for like, I don't know, you want to get chauffeured or something. You you look like a bellend in a Rolls Royce SUV. I like the main Rolls Royce. I don't like this. Uh, you thing. you like don't this. in a Euros? <laughs> in, the, in a Euros, I... it's like... You have a fondness for supercars it's like in one and SUV. It's an impractical you know? car. And it's a worse vibe. Like, it's just... <laughs> you bought the worst Lamborghini. Like, yeah. you, could, you didn't want an Aventador. Sure, I get it. But, like... <laughs> just wait for a special edition or something. Don't get the Euros. <laughs> the, the, the Euros does get slander. But, like, it's it really is an odd position for a car to be in. <laughs> it's... I, I don't get it. <laughs> I yeah. don't get it. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You know what? I, I, I like the Gran Turismo, though. The Gran Turismo Why? gets... How do we go life. from Gran Turismo I don't to know. The Euros? The Euros just caught a stray. <laughs> it just, <laughs> like, I was talking about this thing, and the Euros just caught a stray bullet there. They will make an electric Euros at some point. Yeah. I guarantee. <laughs> It'll be their first electric Lamb like fully electric Lamborghini. It's like I a test bed. I feel like the Euros... And it will be awful. <laughs> it will weigh like three tons. I feel like the Eurus's design, though, I feel like the Eurus's design would work for an electric car kind of thing. Just smooth some of it. And I think it's already got a that like. A smooth Eurus <laughs> is a nightmare. You don't. I, I, you, uh, no, I what, don't want to see that. What's it called? Just like. It would just be the Audi is based off of. Mm. But it's it's oh, it's no, already no. got the like jagged design. I saw the I saw like a, a very new Audi SUV driving the other day, and unironically, I was like, oh, more than I was with the Urus, because it looked pretty <laughs> cool. It was like Audi have like an SUV for like, like every Q three through eight. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, like it's it was a, a very newer one, and it was kind of beefy and 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 sharp and whatnot. And I thought it looked pretty cool, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I... it definitely made me like go. Still an SUV. Oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it is still an SUV, which uh, is a brand cop out. So, <laughs> yeah. oh no, oh no. If you buy a sporty SUV, mm. there's 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 <laughs> something missing. Like sporty and yeah. anything over two tons is just what what mm. huh? Uh, like well, the year no, yeah no um, there's no defense for the euro <laughs> i will hang on the euro forever yeah well i mean on the topic of uh ridiculous opinions i guess i suppose <laughs> i guess this should go anywhere it's the only jumping off point i could really get for it right and i i this isn't like this wouldn't even maybe it won't maybe it will this probably won't warrant enough to to get its whole segment on the stick drift videos channel right but I saw this take the other day, and it was just the most, like, I, I don't know if I was in a call with you at the point, but I remember audibly bursting out laughing. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you were. Like, you were. Yeah. <laughs> I burst out laughing, because it was one of the most nonsensical things I think I've I mean, ever heard. I'm trying to look It does make it, a bit you. of sense. Okay, well, you're gonna have to defend that in a, in a, in a hot minute. I will minute, play but... devil's advocate when yeah. you find the article. It was an image of, I believe, the Corvette C current I... one. Yeah. I think. I, whatever the current one is, I assume. <laughs> C10, C8, I don't know what they're yeah. on. Yeah. I... But the one that doesn't look like the old Corvettes, it's got that, like, new, very front heavy compared to the old Corvettes Mid -engine. design. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that Corvette. And the caption was... <laughs> it is a bit of an outrageous caption. <laughs> it is. The caption was... The Chevrolet Corvette is America's Ferrari. <laughs> Which I just thought was... Yeah, it... <laughs> I want to hear the difference. Ferraris exist this. nowadays. Right, so imagine the 488, right? Mm. It's mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, around 500 horsepower. Mm. So is the C8 or ta the new one. So it's a new Corvette. Yeah. Basically a Ferrari. It just doesn't have the brand prestige that 
Ferrari does. I mean, what does it class as? Does it class as the same type of car as a as a Ferrari? I don't know how much power it makes. Um, yeah. It makes like 500 plus, I'd say. It is the C8. Yeah. Like, I mean, to be fair. It's a 6.2 liter V8. Like, it's... it's I'm, yeah. It's more of a muscle, like, supercar. Like, it's... Yeah. I mean, I'm seeing more, uh... Here it is. Here it is. Uh, 2023's Chevrolet Corvette Z06 is an American Ferrari and then some. <laughs> I mean, it's got a very Gallardo stance from the back. Like, yeah. short wheel, shortish wheelbase and just very flat. I feel like I kind of like how it looks, but then it also kind of irked me. Like, if it... it's, it's cheap. Like, yeah. It's, I think it's... The base, not the zero. So that's probably like four great million pounds or something. Yeah. But the normal one, I think, it's only fifty grand. Mm -hmm. Which for the car is not a lot. Like that's yeah. cheaper than most sports cars. Like ten grand more than a new Supra, and you actually get a decent car. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, well, 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 uh, I, I, I feel like I already asked this, but I, I don't know. My brain's like, I mean, like live die repeat, right? But like, what's it called? Did I already ask what, what like class of car it comes in? Like sport, muscle, like what? I'd actually... say it's sport. I'd say it's sport. Is it sport? sport? It's like a it's... modern sports car. Yeah, because I mean, I was because th aren't the old Corvettes? Are they muscle? Or I guess were they? I'd say they are. Well? Like yeah, C five like is sort of a like muscle car. It's yeah, the base version at least is V eight. He's good at a straight line. <laughs> yeah. Basically all he can do. Yeah. Run engine, rear wheel drive. It's a muscle car, but that's, it's mid engine. So it's, it's yeah. It's mm. car. I mean, in the thing right here, it was a completely different article, but I mean, it was benchmarked against a uh, 458. So, I mean, you know, maybe, maybe it has some warrant. How old it's is just... the 458? A very. I mean, uh, just yeah, the one that's it looks in this image. Early 2000s. Yeah, it looks like 07. of its time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a um, 2022 like high performance version of your base car version yeah, yeah. early 2000s Ferrari. Like it's I, a bit, un bit unfair. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to kind of understand the take. It's just so funny of a it's sense. Like Ferrari bringing out uh like a Challenger compare like very big V8 yeah. like rear wheel drive oh. and testing against like the 2006 Challenger being like ah, yeah well. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, it, yeah. It I mean, just... it's like if they did that and saying like, um, I don't know, the Ferrari Testarossa is Italy's Dodge Challenger. Like, it's no, it just doesn't have the same ring to it. That'd be embarrassing. <laughs> that would just... It's just so odd to call it America's Ferrari. It it really doesn't have that. The same... only similarities is it's as quick as an old Ferrari, <laughs> yeah. and it's a mid-engine rear-wheel drive. It's like yeah. saying a Toyota MR2 is a yeah. Ferrari. It's a mid-engine rear-wheel drive. Mm. I mean, America's got America, though, you know. True. Patriotism and all that. Exactly. Woo. Woo! The new Lotus is Britain's Ferrari. Exactly. I wouldn't even... <laughs> I wouldn't put it past the UK. We're just as... <laughs> the we're, Sun would definitely print that. <laughs> yeah. We're just as nonsensically patriotic <laughs> as anyone else, so... Woo! You uh, go. It, it really is the 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 mini countryman is um, is the UK's Ferrari, uh, but from that, I want to take it to the goddamn. They should have names and stingers, right? Like I I don't know. Maybe I'll go on Fiverr and get like a a a, a music or stinger, whatever, right? You could make one yourself. <sighs> But the, the, music, I'm not sure about, right? Like, what, what am I going to get? I like... mean, I have a distinction in music tag. <laughs> I can make a banger remix. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, I, I, what, like, if I just use something along the lines of, um, I don't know, this just came <laughs> up on my Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I, no that just words. came up on my Twitter. It's going to be terrible for audio listeners, but, yeah. Audio <laughs> listeners, right? It's... What is is that an MR? What is that? What car is that? Um, I it's don't like a know. Mark II, MR2, or an S2000? Yeah. It's a 90s Japanese sports car by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. And the entire bonnet is a pop up headline. <laughs> but, like the worst Photoshop you've ever seen. <laughs> and it has like Benny's Originals rooms on it as well. <laughs> yeah. Wheels, sorry. Um, okay, well, I, I need all the local. information ready for me. Just uh, give me one. <laughs> Goddamn second. Um, like, I don't know what it looks like. A Mitsubishi, maybe? 
I see maybe a Honda logo at the front. Uh, uh, you, you, go for very good eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got very good eyes. <laughs> what Hondas came with pop-up headlights, though? Um, not the S2000. The, the 3000 GT? I have no idea. I might be getting cancelled for that. That's sad, didn't it? That's sad headlights yeah. and that I think it is a Mitsubishi. Like, it mm. has the... It's got the orange indicators on the, like, fender, so... I'm struggling to figure out what the current Forza season even is. I think it's this, but hey, you know what? Here we go. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll, I, if, we, if we need, like, a, a stinger theme or whatever for it, I'm just going to play, you know, the the Fitz intro music. I'm going to use that. Why not? Uh, and <laughs> welcome to the gaming segment of the Stick Drift podcast. Currently, Forza sits itself in spring with the Nissan Sentra as the exclusive reward and the Ferrari F12 TR for its overall reward. I haven't actually played the uh this one at the moment i don't think i have i got the uh lincoln co uh, did lincoln that co very last plus. minute yeah uh did that very last minute finally got the audi uh e-tron e yeah we'll be coming back to forza though because there's a bunch of news for forza currently the crew 2 finds itself in a vehicle reward summit the dominion rival stage 2 in dominion frozen you get the chrysler the website <laughs> 300, I think 300s? 300 something? Yeah, sure. I think. <laughs> the Chrysler 300 SRT8 Crown Edition, will, which will That's be exclusive to the people who get it in this specific uh, summit. Exclusive. Also, it's got yellow underglow and a couple of parts. Uh, we're only two weeks away from the Lamborghini Reventon being added to the Crew 2. That'll be good. New events next week. It is what it is. Oh my god, this isn't the last added cut this season, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, great. Um, Loads of content in the crew right now. Uh, of course, Carex seems to be Carexing that, whatever. The, 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 they tweeted something to do with Carex Rally, and the reply was you just going, There's a Carex Rally? <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, There's a drift, a street, they're making a rally now? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, stuff goes on in Gran Turismo, I, I think. It, it definitely does. They they do stuff. Yeah. And uh, But, of course, the big news of the week was Need for Speed Unbound getting its trailer. And of course, the full car list, as well as the um, the map and the trailer with the anime, with some very controversial opinions on the anime, good or bad. But in that meantime, the what was it? What, what, what was I going to double back to? Forza. What, what? Forza is That's getting wrong. a big update for its 10-year anniversary. They're getting now. The thing is, I watched the video about this, and it seemed pretty cool. Uh, but now I've completely forgotten what at all is in the thing. I have a vague memory of what they're doing. Yeah. So, e there's four seasons in a... Four <coughs> seasons in a series. And yeah. each season is, like, season one is Horizon 1, season two is Horizon 2, etc. Until you get to four. And then yeah. Yeah. And you can unlock the cover car for each game, each season, and you get the soundtrack, like a, an iconic song from each game's soundtrack, I think. Yeah, I think it's like the it's the menu music. In menu think. music. The menu music for each yeah. game. There's like a music pack you can unlock during the thing. And there's all the assets in races will be changed to match that Horizon game during that season. Oh, one big thing Should they're doing is they're finally getting like a, being able to change the map like live so each uh week is gonna it's have been like, in the game since launch appear. but yeah <laughs> yeah but like what's it called they're, they're, used it. They're gonna so be they'll, to... yeah there'll be a new horizon outpost thing yeah. every season to match the, the game the yeah. game that it's based off of so horizon uh, as well as there's gonna be like a viper that's exclusive the it's like based on horizon one there's a it, it's like a 10 year anniversary edition viper with a special thing and whatever uh, but other than that, it does seem like it's, uh, what's it called? Um, what was I going to say? Well, it, what are you going to say? I completely forgot. I know we're getting the Viper. Average, average God, it's Forza. I can't, I can't even with Forza. We're getting the Viper, the Senna, the, what, the other cover cars? I can't remember. I mean, the cover car thing seems a little bit redundant. I mean, obviously people might not own them, 
But it seems a little bit redundant in that, like, didn't you get the cover cards if you just played that game? Not like, many on PC, dude, because you had to own it on the same account. Oh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, was Horizon 1 even on PC? I think it was. Nah. But, uh, <laughs> but hey, we also hope that uh, goddamn uh, Need for Speed gets weekly content so that it has something to talk about. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, we... we uh, I used to be so sad <laughs> yeah. if it doesn't. Like, Dominion Rivals, sure, it's a summit and the car's mid, but it's something in this week. You know, same with the next one. Forza has the seasonal and actually does have stuff. If, <laughs> mm -hmm. like, if the gaming oh, segment... there's going to be a new story as well, uh, based on... That's how you oh, unlock the Viper. On Donut Media, isn't it? There's a bunch of donut. It's gonna be a donut. There's a donut media, media car pack getting added. And yeah. I actually, doing missions alongside that. But there's gonna be like a, a history of Forza Horizon story. Ah. And you unlock the Viper as a reward for that. They do love their basically just advertising stories. Yeah. <laughs> like the Top yeah. Gear one, the 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 Hot Wheels one, especially. Like they they yeah. do, they do like their just like brand you story. Like the Hot Wheels one is paid for. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but like they, they do love their just like, hey, isn't this such a good brand? This is such a good brand, isn't it? Those stories. Um, but uh, what's it called? It, it would really suck if Need for Speed Unbound comes out and the only time it even appears on the gaming segment is like once a month or like once a goddamn like two months. I don't know. However much they actually end up updating. Hopefully yeah. it's weekly, you know. Hopefully. You can hope. It. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I don't trust the AI. Yeah. You see what they've done with Apex. Mm. That's popular, and that gets updates very sparsely. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, to be fair, I think that is all for the gaming segment. But, before we go to the motorsports segment, I one thing that I did want to talk about that I completely forgot to bring up was Audi. Because Audi, we saw the Aventador... On its way out the door last week. Uh, out, out, out the Aventador! <laughs> wow. It's out the Aventador. That was the joke because the Aventador. Aventador, get it? It's leaving you know, out the door. But uh, the Aventador's gone. Uh, and <laughs> with cars going, though, it was like like a seventh special edition or whatever of the Aventador, the, the last one. But, There's a million Aventador. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's why Need for Speed has gotten so many, but <laughs> um, the uh, that's it to that same effect. Audi is, I was surprised by this. They are releasing final exclusive versions of not just the Audi R8, but the Audi yeah, uh, TT. Yeah. The R8 makes sense. They have to cut down the missions and yeah. a big V10 like supercar that no no one buys. Mm. Like, not many of them are around. Like, it's why put research and development into it and spend so much of your carbon allowance on a car no one buys. But the TC, that's odd. I don't get, just no one buy them? Like, I'd assume I mean, sales are down if they're cancelling it. Yeah, I I like the TT, I think. Like, I, the like, new TT is a decent, like, it's for like, the, the Quattro version. I think mm. the TTRS is four-wheel drive makes like 300 horsepower yeah it's actually and it's light so it's actually a good car and like it's IRL, better than a z4 in yeah. every single <laughs> aspect mean, by far. and about the same price so but uh like when i see like the newer audi out in person like it looks like a cool looking car yeah, uh, yeah. it's like a small r8 like it's yeah i forgot, I forgot that image was there <laughs> yeah i've never been looking at the entire time <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh the audi r8 it they're both just sort of like what, like spoiled canards, that kind of. They're yeah. like pre-customized versions to see them out. They're not gonna cancel on their SUVs, though, are they? So. No, I know the SUVs. I mean, what what else do they have now? Do they, I assume they still have their uh, estates. They have like the, the RS fives or whatever, whatever. Uh, the S five is a sedan. Yeah. The RS six is seven uh, estates. And I assume that the SUVs probably sell the best, so that they're gonna be keeping those, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. which is unfortunate. Yeah. But uh, I'm not happy about that. It'll I, be I, mm. SUVs. <laughs> they just popped up in Carnies, right? The BMW M3 Touring. Right? Mm. Why would you buy an X3 when that exists? Just as practical. <laughs> it's yeah. lower down. Yeah. It is actually probably a decent sports car. 
Why would you buy an X3M when you could buy the M3 Touring? Woo, the M3 like you actually Touring. have to be out of your mind to buy an <laughs> X3M. <laughs> yeah. Like you need to, like you you buy one off the dealership and you get sent straight to a psychiatric evaluation. <laughs> like, yeah. what are you doing? But honestly, though, I it's gonna be a weird thing to see an era where there have... isn't R8. No sports cars. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, unless they do... Well, you get the A123. Like, yeah. And then you get the S3 through... Well, you get the A, like A1 through 7, I think it is. And then you get the S3 through 7. Yeah. No, I, I don't know what their SUVs look like. But they have, like, the Q3, 5, and 7, and I think. I, yeah. Or, like, none of them are good cars. Mm. The S is maybe, but we only... I think we only get the... RS6 Avant and the S5 and the S3 here, so yeah. we don't get many of them. Yeah. It's... And they're like 100 grand. So yeah. Like... Do they... What would be their... Okay, now obviously a TT isn't entry level, but like... <laughs> you know what? Like... Are they cheap? They are, are they cheap? Because uh... I mean, I, I want to consider it entry level. Would they just have the... Yeah, you can buy the base normal TT from 33. It's cheaper than a Z4, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, 33 grand. And the TTRS is 57, which mm. is two grand less than the Z4M. Yeah. So it's bas it's a Z4 compare, but mm. the TTRS is four-wheel drive. And actually looks... You could get out of that and not feel ashamed. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, they're only, like, entry cars are going to be, what, like, the A's? The I A, guess, 1, like, 2, and 3. Yeah. It's like the, the A is A1's more... a hatch. The 2 yeah. is a small sedan. Mm. And the 3 is a bigger sedan. Yeah. I mean, I, I want to say that, like... I, Audi, I, I think Audi have aged fairly well. Some decisions I'm not sure on. They modernised their the cars. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think... That looks like a new R8. Yeah, yeah. Like, the Audi A1, the current one... It's not a car I look at and scoff at. It looks like an Audi hatchback. Like, and I, it looks like the, uh, essentially, like a TT, but a hatch hatchback. Something like that, right? But like, I it, wouldn't go as far to say the AOA is a TT hatchback. No, that is probably an outrageous claim. But, uh, Audi A1, like the new, the newer Absolutely ones. Gross. Like, they just. They look fine. They have to share a platform or something. Because yeah. it looks so much like generic. Well, what a Volks, uh, is Volkswagen? It's probably a Polo or Golf yeah. underneath. Because it's Volkswagen Audi Group, isn't it? So it's definitely, and for what, 19,360 quid, it's definitely. I mean, I don't like the old a Golf or a Polo. A. So I, I can definitely say the newer A's are miles better than the older A's. So I. I, <laughs> I think the same year Golf or Polo looks better. Ah. Uh... I guess, but uh, to be fair, the Audi lives in my head as a sort of car that it's like, if, say I'm making outrageous money, it's a car I would gift what, to, like, Kyra or, or, or Nobody someone. wants an A1, 2, or 3. <laughs> like, it's actually a financial burden. High insurance, high maintenance costs, and you have to drive that. <laughs> it's not like, terrible. It's You know, it's like <laughs> you're driving an Audi, you know? It just happens to... Be small, you know. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, yeah. I. Where is the? It's it's a car. Like it's definitely a car. Yeah. It's gonna just, be. It's uh... gonna be weird that there's not gonna be any TTs. TTs especially, but yeah, it's gonna the be TT really weird that there's odd. not Audi it's... R8 or TTs. It's. It's. I think they. The issue is, they make them for all markets. Yeah. I don't think we get a manual R8 anymore. Yeah. And that, in the UK market, wipes out basically 80% <laughs> of potential yeah. buyers. Like, it's... We're gonna why would get you buy that and in then... an automatic? Yeah. We're, like, we're, gonna, we're gonna get old, and then the Audi r is gonna be like an old car. Like, this one will be like an old discontinued car. 
by the time we're old. I'm willing to say they will go up in value eventually. Oh, yeah. No, Audi R8, I definitely think will. I mean, the TT will probably just do the normal circulation of, like, used car You can buy an older TT for, like, two grand. Exactly, (laughs) yeah. Uh, The TT is just going to be shuffled into that same cycle. But the Audi R8 will probably end up being, like... Especially the V10. The V8s, uh, I think, are, like, 30 grand now. Yeah. The the V10s will be worth something eventually. The Audi R8, is it, like, for 30 grand? Like, that's a decent... Like, I want a car that stands out. Like It's the TT V8 Auto that's, like, 30 grand. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. The first gen. The R8. But the R8, R8, uh, like, yeah. Yeah, the R8, yeah. It's the Auto V8 that's cheap. Yeah. And you don't want one. The gearboxes <laughs> are awful. The engines blow up. And it's the V8, not the V10. It's yeah. the waste. Yeah, yeah. But if you look past the fact it's a completely, utterly impractical car, it's a good car to you just, can buy like... buy an R35 like... GTR for, like, 30 grand. I get Like, I an, guess, an edition yeah. one as well. Like, a black I mean, yeah, the 35. The 35. I'd, I'd put them on the same kind of... I the, don't the R8 know if the first-gen R8 is to all-wheel drive. The... Yeah older the r35s i think are yeah for 30 grand i think the r35 would be a better purchase than a first gen va audi all right yeah but i have 30 grand so oh well with the aventador of a a rather iconic lamborghini two very iconic audis also out the door if they have to if they have to discontinue these right Mm. I'd assume it's no one's buying them. I assume they are making money on them. But it's emissions. They have to meet emissions targets as a company. Yeah. That means Volkswagen are worried about hitting emissions targets. I, but... What like what do Volks like Volkswagen Audi group? Well, who, they own everyone, don't they? Say that. Mm. They're gonna just start discontinuing all sport models. Well Volkswagen would be under extreme more um pressure than literally anyone else yeah, because of yeah. uh, uh diesel gate or whatever it was like yeah like that that <laughs> volkswagen is under so much volkswagen more is try harding electric cars to <laughs> yeah. another level you can buy like four different volkswagen evs at the minute like they're really still going like they're still like guys they're please, just on their knees please like, we're please, making please, better cars please. it wasn't us it wasn't us we, we won't we're not we're, it's, they're good for the environment this time <laughs> look please <laughs> we mean it this time look <laughs> yeah please, please uh but you know what on that, it's it's uh, it, uh, it it's 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 yeah, it's a weird it's a thing to see goodbye to the the, the, the cars that were, that are this. Iconic, Especially but... when companies like B- well, BMW is keeping the Z4 around. Yeah, and Toyota is keeping the GR. We don't get the Corolla here. We get the GR Yaris and the GR Supra. Yeah. Why? They're just locking themselves out of the market. They don't have a compact sports car anymore. But I mean, I reckon the NSX isn't far behind though. Yeah, it wouldn't exactly. When was the last time you saw an NSX in the UK? I don't think I've ever seen an NSX. Like, (laughs) Like, they don't don't sell here at all. No. I mean, who's stopped selling here recently? Automatic only. Mitsubishi. Was it Mitsubishi? God, Mitsubishi. That okay? Wow. Damn. Well, bearing in mind they had 0.5% market share, that's why they stopped selling. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, clearly because they had uh... an SUV. And a hatchback. They had two cars in the UK. I would say who would buy a Mitsubishi SUV, but who would buy any of the 50... Them turning the SUVs? Eclipse into an SUV. That was funny. <laughs> was the end. I've seen one of them, that and I funny. wish I hadn't. I, I, <laughs> that was the beginning. They, they sold that and were like, yeah, we can't sell it anymore. I just left. <laughs> Eclipse SUV is is possibly hilarious, I want to say. I don't know Why? <laughs> like, they hyped it up as well. They're like, oh, we're re releasing the Eclipse. Ooh, hype, hype, hype. And they just showed us an SUV. To take a name. Someone like in the market sat there and was like, they really want this. Yeah. They really want it. It's, oh, it's shocking. Honda got it with the Integra. Mm. I, don't, I don't know if they made it accurate. But they, the Integra was a two door sports car, in quotation marks. Yeah. Like the Acura NSX in Force, you know, the little white two door thing with a spoiler. Yeah. It was like that. It was like an R- RXA MX5 sort of type car. Yeah. But they turned it into a four-door sedan. Mm. Why? Yeah. Why not make... Just take the, like, sure, sure emissions. Take the engine from the sedan and just make a new <laughs> platform. 
if you're gonna type up the Integra, at least make a new Integra. Yeah. Don't release the Accord. <laughs> Yeah. Why not re-release yeah. the Accord Type R? They discontinued that ages ago that we never got back. I just, I, car companies <laughs> just, they think they know what people want and then just come out with the Eclipse SUV and the Integra sedan. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, oh well. Well, you know what? From there, I say we jump to the good. They need, they need names. They, need, I'll, I'll work on a, a, the like stick, like. <laughs> You know what? what second are we moving on to? Welcome back to to Motorsports Monday, filmed uh, exclusively on a Saturday. Exclusively on a Saturday, meaning <laughs> I don't get to see any of the races <laughs> and miss out on both the announcements. So you're getting Friday and Saturday's news. Exactly. That I can remember. <laughs> Motorsports Monday. Uh, filmed I mean, exclusively on a Saturday, watched on a Sunday. Exclusively on a Saturday, yeah. yeah. Not much has happened this week. Yeah. Uh, Pierre Gasly signed to Alpine, so there <laughs> is an Alpha Tauri and a uh, Haas seat still available. Yeah. But there also happens to be Mick Schumacher and Daniel Ricciardo still available. Yeah. So I'm assuming Mick might go to Alpha Tauri, but I reckon he'll stay at Haas. But they don't want him because he crashes a lot. Yeah. And then Daniel Ricciardo will probably go to Alpha Tauri or Haas. He might go. I don't reckon he'll go to Haas, but Alpha Tauri, maybe. If they can't find anyone else. Yeah. And free practice one, two, and three is. Whoa, I went green. Kind of <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's yeah. Suzuka, so it's not really that interesting of a race, to be fair. Yeah. Free practice one, two, and three were just kind of. One and one was wet, two was damp. Alonso got first in free practice one, mm. so that was hype. And then he just didn't get anywhere in qualifying because the Alpine is mm. a midfield car. Nicholas Latifi went on the wrong track layout on Suzuka. <laughs> I saw that. How? I think you said it to me on TikTok. And then he blamed it's... the car. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It's so funny. Because <laughs> there's. The, like you come into the final chicane and it's right left and then down to the start finish straight. Yeah. He just took the the layout that just loops back around. Yeah, yeah. And there was like, oh, there's so wrong with the car. <laughs> After he... I mean, what I who was who was talking in the clip? Because I heard someone go, I don't know what that was. It's working fine. That now. was him. That was, was that him. him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just went the wrong way. It's like, oh, the car doesn't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel yeah. right. It's how 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 does he still he's race? A pay driver. He pays Willie. He paid Williams like thirty million a year to oh, race that. So he's so he's rich. And they because they're like... the worst team. Yeah. They need the money. <laughs> he's gone next year, thankfully. So what? Williams no! might actually score more than four points or whatever. Huh? What? No. <laughs> and yeah, British touring car finale this weekend. Oh my god! I'm gonna go very bright because I've got to get this up. <laughs> Motorsports Monday that is You've from got Ash, something F1. different to F1. I am exactly. very white right now. <laughs> Ash Sutton, Jake Hill, and Tong Ingram. Final, there's three races this weekend. Yeah. Ash is, well, Sutton's on 345 points. Hill was on 340, and Ingram's on 339, and there's three races. Yeah. And they're all in three different cars. One's in like a BMW 330, one's in a Fiesta ST Mark IV. And then one's in a Hyundai i30. So it's three different cars in three different teams within, what is that? There's a mass there. Five, six points of each other. Yeah. At the, at the final race weekend. Like, actually something interesting. <laughs> exactly. But because it's on a Saturday, <laughs> I don't get to see the race. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> comment your favorite British touring car driver below, I guess. Exactly. And or maybe one it's the person one who won. that watches British touring car. Exactly. You know, I mean, I was just thinking, what, like, I don't know why this was what came to mind instantly. What goes on in NASCAR? Does that is that still going on? It's, that's in the US. Has it not I, been discontinued knows? yet? Like people... it's popular in the US. It's very. Is popular it still in the US. very popular? Yeah. IndyCar yeah. and NASCAR are very very popular. Oh, to be fair, no. You know what? I'm I'm straight up fibbing right now. I see NASCAR come up in the um racing <laughs> yeah. news thing it's every now and then. It's almost if there's British bias if we ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Max will win the championship this weekend. Yeah, I mean, he needs a win with fastest lap. Mm. He's qualified first. Yeah, yeah. 
if he pulls a, what is it, Suzuka, he probably needs a 25 second lead. Mm. He'll pit for soft to get fastest lap, and he's won the championship. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 all it takes is Leclerc to have an engine issue, and that's the, is basically, if Max doesn't crash this tomorrow, well, mm. because it's in Japan, it's at like 6am for me tomorrow, but yeah. yeah, as long as he, as long as Max doesn't crash, there's a 98% chance he wins the championship tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, Which... I just never understand how it doesn't get more boring. <laughs> like, it, uh, it's once just he's done this, Max there's four wins. races left. Like, yeah. Like, that it's... Red Bull is so mad this season. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know, but yeah. And allegedly, they yeah. broke the cost because there's a cost cap. To... Yeah. <laughs> Basically, because you've got Red Bull, Mercedes, and all that that can spend yeah. like, hundreds and hundreds of millions. And then you've got Haas, Williams, and all that that are like, please, <laughs> we need to be able to compete. <laughs> yeah. They put in a cost cap. And mm. apparently, as... how Aston Martin broke the cost cap, I have no idea. <laughs> But Aston Martin and Red Bull have allegedly broken it. Yeah. So, and that means they will get, if they are in breach, they'll get less wind tunnel time, so their car might not be as good next season. But That's it's a Red Bull. So. Interesting way to do less wind tunnel time. <laughs> like, uh, it's, it, sure. Basically, aerodynamics. Like yeah, the Williams yeah. is on a track like Singapore, for example. Yeah. It's slow in a straight line. And it's slow three quarters. Mm. Like the wind resistance it is gay isn't downforce. It's just it's just drag. It's just bad car design. It's just a funny way so, to to penalize, in my opinion. <laughs> like it's just like it's not like it's not like cancelling them. It's yeah. not like being like, oh my god, you're getting you're getting well, fine I mean, or you're getting this. It's like you're it's not like gonna 10 get ten less wind tunnel time. Yeah, which is exactly. a lot. You know, which means I'll probably miss out on one major. Like, because you you I think they've got they spent so much time and money on like. Front wing, rear yeah. wing, floor, side pods, to make sure it all works together. Yeah. So you don't end up with a Williams. Williams I mean, had the most wind tunnel time last season. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> and they've come out with this. I mean, at that point, it's just it, it would just become the price you pay to be able to spend more money. You know? Yeah. It's, it's, like, well, a, it's like a driving ticket. Their official ticket. statement is like, they interpreted the cost cap differently. Yeah. So that's a great, that's a great the way to describe it. Cost suggestion. Just, yeah. yeah, we didn't believe what you said, so we done our own way. It's it's like a it's it's like a a a, a, dry, a speeding ticket for a rich guy, right? It, that's just the price yeah, to drive yeah. fast, you know. It's not, and that's the thing; like, it's a fine line between overly harsh, like because saying Williams did break the cost cap somehow, yeah. they found some money and broke the cost cap. That yeah. would have ruined them. Yeah, but for like yeah. Mercedes or Red Bull, eh, they can afford it. Exactly. Yeah, I mean. It's, it, Mm. Yeah, I mean, what's the what's the what's the country that does the um, adjusted speeding tickets? I know there's a country that does like they, some. They pull like your tax returns, yeah, Sweden, yeah. somewhere up in that part of the world. But you know what? Adjusting prices reminded me, and this is this is I, I guess rather relevant <laughs> to to cars and whatnot. I know where we're trekking on right now, but did you hear the like oil prices? Apparently, they've been falling. Right, gas like filling yeah. up your cars. Apparently, they've been falling. The countries that own 90% of the entire planet's oil all got together and said, let's stop making as much. Yeah, they did and that during the, the pandemic. Yeah, and now the prices they, are going to climb again. Because like, the oil went negative during the pandemic, which mm. is actually insane. Yeah. Like, they couldn't get rid of it, so it yeah. just went negative. I think they're doing like two million less barrels a day. And somehow petrol is still one pound a litre here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But apparently they're doing two million less barrels it's a the, day. It's like, the graph that looks like this, because yeah. during the pandemic, demand was down. And then all of a sudden, everyone, like the petrol crisis thing, yeah. it all spiked up. So they started pumping out as quickly as like humanly could. And now it's back down to normal levels. They're producing too much. And then eventually they're going to need but more. And then producing gonna little like... is going to drive the price up. Yeah, and it's just, it's, just, it's... it's going to, fl- it's, it's a never ending cycle. It truly is a never ending cycle. Did you but... know Scotland has oil? <laughs> do they i think that's the only reason we were like the big yeah because you've got north sea oil it's like sort of you've got scotland here and it's like here if they scotland started sure. properly exporting their oil they would make a point 
to never ship to the UK. They'd burn they would like tariff on us. Knowing Scotland, they would they they would like do the most spiteful waffle to yeah. never ship, to, and yeah. it would be funny and it would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. I mean, there's not enough time to carry on uh, about it, but it was just it was a, it was a thing that was like, oh my god, what? That's just like yeah. oh. Because then eventually it's going to end up being like, you'll hear the news and then be like, oh my god, can you believe Ukraine and the war and the pandemic has caused the oil prices to go up? Instead it was just a bunch of guys in a room being like... Yeah, they like to use that excuse for anything nowadays. Yeah. Like, economy yeah. crashing, not our fault. Yeah, what do you mean you're not getting paid enough? Goddamn Russia! we go why russia <laughs> Look, why hate russia, hate russia, hate russia. what what do you mean we're not going to be taxing the richest people anymore russia they backtracked on that. <laughs> thankfully they backtracked on it that was probably russia's fault too <laughs> yeah yeah it's comical it really is but you know what that's gonna be about it for the uh that's made me sad. I was about to call it the Animosity Podcast. That's that. that I mean, that, it is that's, the that's grand second episode of Stick Drift. It is the second episode of the Stick Drift Podcast. Uh, you know, maybe Ross will come back from the RAF one day and, <laughs> and Animosity will be Stubborn running him, too, You know, yeah. Um, you know, he can come and promote the RAF on the podcast. Be part of their <laughs> advertising division. I'm sure that they're very <laughs> desperate. Yeah. Uh, but yes, this is the second episode of the Stick Drift Podcast. Let us know in the comments what you thought of any of the topics during the uh, during the podcast. Comments will be read out next episode. Of course, remember to subscribe. I hate like SUVs channel. in the comments below. <laughs> if, you, if you watch this far, feel free to comment I hate SUVs. <laughs> uh, of course, the podcast is on Spotify. You can go and follow over there. Remember to subscribe to both the Stick Drift video channel and this podcast channel over here. Videos are out. Uh, episodes are out every Sunday, and the videos are out throughout the videos week. Videos are out every whenever Sis bothered. Whenever. I make sure to have the... I did do every other day, but then I was like, oh wait, there's not that many days in the week. So I'm going to have to have some <laughs> back-to-back So now. So, yeah. Oh, uh, well, that's about it from us. All right. In a bit.